How's it going, people? Right, so today's video is going to be a bit of a channel update, and I've also got one pickup. Um, yeah, pickups have been a bit scarce the last week or so, but the one I've got is a pretty good pickup, actually. It's nothing major, but when you hear how much it costs, you'll probably be quite surprised. So, but there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about, which is why I'm doing it as an update as well. So, um, I thought I'd do it all as one video because one pickup, you know, is hardly worth doing as a video. So I just thought I'd throw them together. So, so anyway, let's get started. I made a few notes so I don't forget things because, you know, the old grey matter these days, you know, getting old and that. <laughs> you forget things, didn't you? So, uh, if you're not aware, yesterday I did a live stream with Game Zone Bird Room. Um, James was nice enough to ask me if I wanted to go onto his channel. Um, I should probably explain a bit about that. So, if you're not aware of Game Zone Bird Room, number one, go over and drop him a sub. Great channel, and you should definitely be a part of that. It's really good. Uh, he picked up a Pandora 9S Plus. Um, I'm thinking about two or three weeks ago. I think it might have been about three weeks. And um, he's done a few videos on it. And for a while, I was looking at getting a Pandora, but didn't know what one to get because there's a lot of different variations. It was, you know, I'd, I'd been after one for about a year and kept looking at them and it, there's so many different types out there. I just thought, like, well, how do you know which one to get, which one's best? And he bought one and he's done a few, like, videos on it and they're quite in-depth as well. So after I saw his videos, I was like, that would be perfect. And then, of course, he said it was only fifty nine ninety nine, which is a bargain. So straight away I thought, right, okay, it's cheap, it looks good. You know, what's not to like about this? I'm getting one. And a few other people in the community did as well. As a result, what James started doing is he started doing a live stream every now and again where he's having guests on that have also bought the same device and then you, you just play some games and have a now. So that's what we did. Um, I think it ended up in the end with streaming for like two hours, 55 minutes. Because that's the thing with James. I mean, me, me and me and James both come from Gravesend. So we're both from, from the, originally from the same neck of the woods. And so you can imagine we, we get on really well. And once me and James start talking, it, it just, it flows, you know. And and it, it's just, it's it's a natural sort of conversation, you know. There's no forcing of anything, you know. Like once me and James get started, that's it. And before we knew it, it was like nearly three hours. And the thing was, we was really enjoying ourselves as well. Um, my youngest was occupying himself. My missus was at work, so for once, I had a nice amount of time where I could play some games, have a laugh, have a chat with a mate. You know, just enjoy myself, and and that's what we did, and it it just it was really good. I was, I really enjoyed myself, and it was nice to be a part of it. So I just wanted to say thanks, James, for having me on. Really enjoyed it. Definitely am up for doing it again. Um, yeah, it was great. And like I said at the start, if you're not already subbed to Game Zone Bird Room, go over there and drop him a sub, and also go over and check out the stream because. Yeah, it was a live stream yesterday, but it is in his videos. So if you want to go over and check it out, go and have a look. It's just two mates having a laugh, playing some games. And of course, if you're interested in the Pandora 9S Plus, you know, have a look at that video and you'll get a good look at what sort of games are on it as well. So it'll give you a good idea as well. Right, okay, so that's that part. Then we're going to get on to uh, the games bundle I picked up. Now, a couple of weeks ago... You'll probably remember I picked up the games bundle off eBay um, that apparently was in good condition and it arrived and the discs were just, you know, scratched to hell. The, there was thick rings all the way around. And and I don't know if you remember, I basically bought the bundle because it, it was a good price. Uh, it was seven games and one of the games that was included in it actually goes for more than the actual bundle was going for. Of course, now we know why, don't we? Um, so, yeah, and I was having an hour and I said I wasn't sure whether I was going to try and get the discs, like, cleaned or whether I was going to send it back. And 
And a couple of people in the community in the comments and that said below, I seriously doubt even if you get them cleaned, you're going to get them rings out. Um, so I, I, you know, I made my decision and I'm set, I've sent it back. So yeah, um, wasn't particularly happy with that. You know, all right, it wasn't a massive amount of money, but you know, twenty three pound twenty is still twenty three pound twenty that you could do other things with. So. And, you know, you've got a stack of games there that are no good to you. So, yeah, I've sent it back. I said it in that video, I would let you know if I decided where to send it back. Well, I did. So, so yeah, I'm letting you know that now. Um, yeah, just be careful, guys, when you're buying on eBay. Because um, you do get people out there that will tell you something's good or in very good condition. And occasionally you will, you know, in most cases it is. But occasionally you'll get it. And you have a look and you're like, this isn't good. This isn't very good. This should be in a bin, you, you know, sort of thing. Um, I'll be honest, I don't normally buy games unless they show the bottom of the discs because you're always taking that risk, aren't you? But because of the fact that one game alone in there was worth more than the bundle, I thought I'd take a, a gamble. And obviously this time that gamble didn't pay off. So, yeah, so, you know, when you are buying off eBay, just be a little bit careful and, and one tip I would give you is that if you're buying a game off there, buy one where you see the bottom of the disc might be a good idea, you know, because at least then you know what you're getting into. Or even just buy ones, you know, where they, they take the manual and the disc out and you can see then, you can't necessarily see the bottom of the disc, but you can tell by the condition of the manual, etc., that you're getting a good buy. That's normally a very good indication. If the manual's in good condition, the disc normally is as well. So just a couple of little rules I kind of go by, if, I, if I'm honest. So yeah, always worth trying that if you're buying games. You know, have a good look and see which ones are actually showing you what you're getting, you know. But anyway, moving on. Right, my pickup. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you the charger, um, which might give away what this is. Give you a little clue. Yeah, that's the charger. And then this is the device. Now, looking at this on first inspection, you're probably thinking, that's a woman's purse. Because, <laughs> yes, it does look like a woman's purse. But if you notice here, it's got Nintendo DSi written on it. So, yeah, interesting. I don't remember these cases coming out to start with. I mean, I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan. It does look like an old woman's purse, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, but you've got like a little zip here to put your game cards in. And then it Velcro opens up. And then as we get inside, you know, there's your device. And uh, I'm guessing that's a spare stylus. This one's like more like a a pen. So, and, and obviously you've got your stylus underneath as well. And I should point out, this is the XL version. Um, I've got to be honest, if this was the 3DS XL, I would have been ecstatic. But when you hear how much this was, you couldn't get it for this price. Um, there's your camera. And then I'll open it up, and there's your device. Um, not a massive fan of the colour, I've got to be honest. But like I say, when I tell you how much this costs, you'll totally understand it. Um, now, this was spotted by the wife, once again. And she sent me a photo, and she said, would you be interested in this? And I said, well, it kind of depends on how much it's going for. And she said, well, because there was no price on it. So she said, uh, well, how much is the max you'd go? And I said, well, the max I'd go is probably about 30 quid. So she got it. Eight pound. Eight pound. These things go for, I've seen these go for 70 pound on eBay. And I just got one for eight quid with the charger. You can't moan at that, can you? And you never understand why I was saying if it was a 3DS so I would have been really ecstatic. And then I said, obviously, but for the money I got this for. Now you get what I'm saying. You wouldn't have got a free DS XL for eight quid. To be honest, I wouldn't have even thought you'd get a DSi XL for eight quid. I mean, eight pounds. Like, you know, that's like two PS4 games. Or in some cases, one PS4 game. Did, uh, PS4, PS2 games, should I say. Two PS2 games or, or one PS2 game, depending on how good the game is. And I've just picked up you know, a handheld, a good handheld for that. I mean, that, that is really good, isn't it? Eight quid, like, unbelievable. So the miss is done good. 
Um, she spotted it, and, and I, I don't think, I mean, I'll be honest, if I saw this sitting on the shelf like this, I probably wouldn't have realised what it was. Um, she must have just, when she was looking at it, must have noticed the uh, Nintendo DS logo. And of course, the missus has a Nintendo DS, so she knows what that is. Um, so it must have been that that she spotted and was like, oh, hang on, you know. So straight away, she, you know, she messaged me, like I say, sent me the photos. Are you interested? Yep. I see the XL and I thought, right, these go for a bit. How much are you willing to pay? And, I, you know, like I say, I said, 30 quid max. And, you know, she come home with it. She goes, got it. I'll tell you the price when I get home. She brings it home and she was like, eight quid. I was like, you're kidding. Like, seriously, eight pound, you know? So what a bargain, <laughs> you know? Like, all I can say is that whoever priced that up in that shop had no idea what that was or what it was worth because like I say 70 pounds and the one I saw going for 70 wasn't even in that leather case it was just on its own so you know there's value there you can't moan at that so like I've said a few times already guys don't give up there is gold out there you've just got to look for it and just recently I've had a good streak of gold from charity shops I really have so it definitely is around. you just got to look for it. And this is a thing I do say on a regular. I'm gutted that in my area there's no retro gaming shops. You know, independent shops and that. But I, at the same time, I've got an, a, the other side of the coin, you know. Some of these areas that have got the retro gaming shops don't have anything in the charity shops. Whereas I'm hitting gold with the charity shops. I think if there was a retro gaming store around here, you'd probably find that most of this stuff would end up in there and not in a charity shop. So so I can't moan. I'm getting the good end of the stick here. So so anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. And all I've got to say is, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care. Stay safe. Nerdy geezer out.